Hey there, welcome to another Curtis Stage video tutorial. Today's tutorial is in Photoshop and we're going to be doing a gradient poster. So let's get started. So what we want to do is we want to create something that looks like this. Uh, you can see that there's multiple gradients built up in here and so this is a fun technique to use to create kind of multi-layered, very uh, kind of ephemeral looking uh, you know imagery and I, I use the band spiritualized which kind of makes sense for this kind of imagery so let's start our own new document so we're gonna go up to file new and we're gonna create a in inches I'm gonna go to 8 wide by 10 high with a resolution of 200 uh, 200 to 300 is fine background color uh, fine white for right now click create and then what we want to do is I want to create a background layer that uh, color layer above this layer one and so I'm gonna go and edit fill once I get the fill panel open I'm gonna pick uh, a color here so where it says contents I want to make sure it says color and then I'm gonna go for a bright red so pure red 255 R0 and 0 for green and blue click OK everything else is good on this and nice Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build up some gradient layers. So what we're going to do is go to our gradient tool in the toolbar. So once you click on that, I'm going to go to a radial gradient. It's the second one in. You can see that we've got linear gradients, but we're going to use a radial gradient. And I can change the blend mode, but I might do that in a second. I'm going to keep the transparency checked. I'm going to click on the editor itself. It's going to bring up the dialog box here. So what I want to do is I want to pick some, uh, first I'm going to probably go with like oranges, uh, you know, kind of oranges and yellows, okay, something like this. And I'm going to keep this yellow, so if I go in this oranges folder, you can pick any one of these, it could be that one right there, the fourth one in, they're all pretty standard right here. And I'm going to have this stop over here be transparent. So these bottom ones are the color stop, so this is yellow on this side, orange on that side up above it tells me where if I click that it tells me its level of transparency or opacity so if it's hundred percent opaque that means there's no transparency I'm gonna bring that all the way down to zero so it's yellow to transparent I'm gonna click OK now when I paint on this if I don't want to paint on my red layer I'm gonna lock that layer and I'm gonna make a layer above that layer so this is gonna be my first kind of circular pattern and I'm gonna click going out from the center so I've got something like this it's pretty cool now I could also go the other way uh, because clearly when I did this the yellow is what I want the red is kind of seeing through to the background so I'm gonna undo this and I want to reverse it so if you click right up here on the options bar I can reverse that and then when I drag see how that makes kind of a Sun we did this in one of my other tutorials, so this will be familiar with uh, for you. We're not going to make any masks out of this. Okay, so now this is all great. I've got kind of a base layer. I'm going to go and change my color here. And I'm going to go to, let's say, pinks. And do the same thing. I'm going to, uh, let's see, on this side, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the opacity on that side so it's pink. Now, there's a little uh, diamond in the middle of this. And if I drag that diamond to the left, do you, or to the right, you can kind of see what happens here. If I drag it to the right, I've got less pink. If I drag it to the left, I'm, it's, it's less transparent here. So I'm going to click OK to this. Now, I could stay on this same layer if I want to. Well, let's, let's look at a few different things that we can do here. So if I stay on the same layer, but, and, and I'll just keep my mode as normal right now and paint this. So that's kind of cool, and again, I've got to reverse it. Let me do that. I'm going to go back to the reverse because I flipped to the other side. So I've got that. I can't really see the layer below it, right? I can't see the object below. Um, and it was on the same layer, but if I go to blend mode and I pick one of these kind of 50% blends right in here, let's say hard light, and I paint this. Now you can kind of see there's the yellow in there. Now, I don't like to have them on the same layer. I'm going to undo that. I like to have every one of these on their own layer. So I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to still keep it on hard light, 
Because now, when it's on its own layer, I can move it around, I can change it, I can change uh, lots of things about it. So let me, um, let me undo that, and I can paint it up here, right? So I see a little bit of that yellow. It's very difficult to see it here, uh, but we're going to see it very clearly here in a second. So a couple things that I can do since it's on its own layer. Now I can blend mode this, look at that, so I can go in here and do some blend modes very graphic one with lighter color. But if I get in here, I can do some oh, something like this, pin light. And I can also change the opacity and make it lighter or darker. So you've got two ways that you can do blend modes. You can do the blend mode on the actual gradient and you can change its opacity. Or you can do the blend mode on the layer itself after the fact. I kind of like to do that because it gives me more control. Let me add another layer. We're just gonna build up layers here. Okay, we're just gonna build up layers and then we're gonna do something really cool here. So I'm gonna go and get another one here. I'm gonna go, let's see, greens and maybe something like this. And this time I'm gonna just leave it solid here and I'm gonna bring my um, blend mode on the actual gradient itself to normal. And when I paint it, I just kinda do this and let's see, that might, you know what, I'm gonna reverse it. Let me do that again. Command Z or Control Z, reverse it, there we go. Now, if I go up here in this blend mode, because I've got it on its own layer, you can see that you can start getting some really cool blends here. I really dig that, very moody. Okay, this is gets, that's pretty sweet. That's kind of, eye. that's gonna kill our eyeballs, right? A little subtle right in here in soft light, which I like, this is crazy. Uh, that's kind of cool, pin light again. Difference is interesting. Not much happening down in here. Ooh, hue is cool. You kind of have to go through and see which ones do which. Now remember, from darken to darker color, this is knockouts of any lights or you know any lighter colors on this layer, so the yellow. So if I go up in here, I'm knocking out any of the lighter colors. If I go here, I'm knocking out any of the darker colors. Okay, and then if I go here, it's 50%. Okay, so you can kind of just take your pick on this. You can go dark or you can go lighter and decide. I'm kind of going with this burn your eyeballs thing out right now. So that's kind of cool. Again, I can take my move tool and I can move. Now, when you move it, just be aware that when it draws it, it's drawing it to the edge of your artboard or the edge of your canvas. So you're gonna get this line right here if you move it. So that's gonna be, that might be tricky, but you can see when you move it how the shape kind of can change. Okay, pretty cool there though. Just because I just drew a whole gradient over the whole thing with no transparencies. I'm gonna leave it where it's at. So you can see the difference here. When I do it over the whole thing, let me turn this off. If I move this one, I'm gonna lock the layer below it. If I move this purple one here, I'm not gonna see an edge because I drew this one and it's transparent on the outside. So that's the way to go with this. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I kinda like that one. Now you can change your layer order and kind of see what happens when you change our layer orders, right? So maybe this one goes in here, it's a little less crazy. Okay, so that's kind of nice. Now I wanna show you a little bit of a trick. Uh, so let's add a new layer. So once I've got this new layer, then what I'm gonna do is, and this is gonna sound weird, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do a solid color on here and then I'm gonna do a mask. So let's fill this with a solid color. Doesn't matter what color you pick. Uh, you can always change this later. So I'm gonna go to color here for contents. And let's see, I'm gonna go to like kind of a blue. Don't have any blues in here yet. Uh, and I'm gonna leave everything normal here, mode normal, everything, no blend mode on that quite yet. Uh, remember, it's below this layer up here. I'm gonna bring it above that. I want it above all these other layers. Now I'm gonna create a mask on this. Uh, but the mask is going to uh, have circles in it. So you're gonna see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna click here. So when I add the mask, uh, white reveals everything to the left and hides everything below. But if I bring in uh, black in here, if I paint in here, so I'm gonna go to my paintbrush. I can use multiple tools with this, but I'm gonna go to my paintbrush and I'm gonna go to a, I'm gonna do a, uh, a soft round. Maybe, I don't know, not fully 0% hardness, but maybe like 25%, somewhere in that area. Uh, and then I'm gonna make the size of this big. And when I click, you can kind of see this is kind of revealing the stuff below it. And you can change your brush 
and it's going to reveal the things that are happening below. So this is where you can kind of then do some pretty cool reveals, right? So this is kind of nice. So you can have kind of this cloudy effect with the mask. And then you could do another one so I can make a copy of this. I'm going to drag it down to my copy layer icon or I could do command or control J on this layer. So command J and I can switch this color here. So if I want to go to this color right here, I can go to edit and fill and switch this color and background color to, I don't know. And then we got that. And so now I can then go in here and do blend modes on this. So I can get in here and really kind of get a blend mode, like let's say screen or yeah, pin light. That's kind of cool. So something, something in here is kind of nice. Okay. And, and if you want your brush to be harder, right, and give it a more of an edge on it, you could do that. And when you paint, you can also uh, lower your opacity on the brush. So it's, so you're getting this pattern kind of going through here, which is kind of cool that reveals this. So it gives it kind of a graphic edge. So that's kind of nice. And the more you click and paint, the more it's going to um, build up, right? So if I keep clicking, it's going to build up more and more and more. So it's giving me this kind of, instead of a soft edge, I've got you know, one layer that has a soft edge and then one layer that has a hard edge. I can go to the bottom layer and kind of do that too. And it just gives this kind of cool graphic feel instead of a soft feel. So it's kind of whatever you feel like doing. I kind of like this, but in the soft feel in some ways. Now, again, these two layers could have blend modes on them. So if you, yeah, look at this darker color, that's pretty cool, right? Just You kind of can see that there's so many different options in here. Um, I'm going to leave it normal because I kind of dig in what's happening here. And oops, I now I clicked here. I was clicked on the blue itself, so I'm painting on the blue. I don't really want to do that, so I undid that. You don't want to paint here. You only want to paint in the gray area. Now, if you don't like something that you did on the mask, you can just switch to white and it will delete, right? So look at how I'm switching to white and I've got an opacity. It feels like I'm painting blue, but I'm just kind of putting the blue back. Watch, see putting the blue back and the whole thing would become blue and build that up. So I'm just showing you, see how it's white now? And so that means that it's, I've only got this one going, right? This one up on top, this one right here isn't really doing anything now. It's, it's showing all blue through and I can switch to lay order. You can kind of see it more. See, I almost got it here. So if I go back here and paint with white, it's all through here. Now let me go back and switch to black get that going again. So if I go in here and paint, now I could change keep I could change my opacity as I'm kind of going and it can make really cool patterns and shapes. And you can change your brush size with your bracket tools on your keyboard, right? And give you some varying sizes. Oh yeah, that's cool. And then and then some and then a really big one maybe something like that. And then maybe a small one. So here's where I'm kind of creating like kind of a visual I'm trying to figure out what's going to look the coolest visually, give myself a balance here. Now I could with this, so on a mask, it doesn't really matter. You cannot do really blend modes on here, right? Because you can, the mask is only black, white, or gray. So the only thing you can do really is change your opacity on the mask, right? In this flow, but you can only change your opacity on the mask. So the lower this opacity gets, the softer this is going to get. And you can kind of you know, do these things the whole way around and have no solid color. I don't know. It's kind of could be interesting. I like to leave some solid color, but it's looking a little weird now, but you get the idea and you can move it around and kind of see what it looks like. You can switch their layers. You don't really want to put these layers below, right? You're not going to really see them if you put them down here. Well, maybe a little bit because they do have blend modes on them. So you can just kind of mess with what layers, what you want where, right? So very interesting. Uh, way to kind of go and you can turn eyeballs off if you like ah, I made a mess of that layer I don't really like that one delete I, but I like this one is cool so I'm going to stick with that one and I kind of like the soft and hard and it's got my opacities at 50 and it builds up kind of cool and it gives me you know it's a little more subtle right especially if I'm making a poster that's going to have text in it 
right? And then I can go down here and if I want to make another layer, I can, you know, do another gradient. Let's say I just need like, I just really need those greens to show up a little bit more. So I can go back to my blend mode here and go back to those greens and see if I've got anything, or maybe something like this. And I'm going to take off the opacity up on the top up here and bring this down this way. In fact, I could add another stop in here. See this? So if you just click down here and I can take a stop away, if I just click down here, I could add another stop and then I could make that a color. So I could say, ooh, I want that to be another green. Okay. And then this tells how much op opacity within that area it is. So I can bring this this way, bring this down here, and that's pretty good. Click OK. Now, when I paint on this, and again, let's see what I got. Um, I forget which direction I'm going in. Yeah, that's cool. So I reversed it back and painted from the outside in. So you can see over here on my layer that there's a little circle in the middle. And I can do another one on there, right? And do another one. And you can have as many gradients you want with, um, if there's transparency, you can build gradients up on, you know, on the other things. And now I can go in here, ooh, dissolve. I can go in here and kind of see what this looks like. So you got some pretty cool possibilities in here. Completely up to you guys on how you want to do it. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um, something like that's cool. I'm kind of digging the darker. Okay, and then I can move them around again with my move tool. I can move stuff now. Oh, where did I move? Uh, let me undo that. I got to lock this layer here. I want to move this around. I guess that's the green that I just did. It says that it is. Okay, so I can't move that too much, but I can, you know, transform it even. Uh, you can do that and make it bigger, right? Move it around that way. Then you're not seeing an edge. So I can go up like that and you can turn it a little bit and you can warp it. So you can do anything that you, right? Look at this. I can warp that and make it like this page is turning. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. I've never done that before on one of these. Uh, but you can kind of fool around with that like a little cool look i mean come on people look at this you kidding that's pretty sweet so it's got this kind of turn on here i, mean, uh, I like that kind of almost wrapping wrap, like it's like it's a little bit of a wave let me see if there's a better multiply let's see what brings that out uh, Ooh, those colors are cool fry your eyeballs with this stuff right don't take any drugs while you're making this in process of making I'm gonna stick with darken on that and I think it was pretty cool and then you can always change your opacity and lighten it up a little bit if you feel like it's too dark okay so it's pretty nice so something like that if you don't like the band I don't know if I like the band but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of do that that's pretty sweet all right so then if you want to put text on it like I did on this one you know right create this kind of text thing in here you can you can just put them on layers above that and make kind of a cool you know poster out of this this would be the background for the poster i'll let you guys do that right to add text but really easy you go over to the toolbar and you go to the type and you pick you know kind of what type you want and by the way you could um you could completely blend mode your type as well and make that kind of blend in and and do its thing so you could do let's see what band do i like besides spiritualize i'm gonna go ocs you may have, may or may not have heard of the ocs but um cool la band and you know and then you can just kind of pick where you want it to be and kind of do a whole thing like say okay um i want that color to be bright red and bigger here right so if you're not familiar with text in photoshop you've got the options bar up here and you can start kind of messing around with this if you this is just kind of my list of fonts i like that one and um you know you can kind of do stuff like this and then you can blend this too and get do kind of a blend mode deal and make it screens kind of nice kind of get in let's see some of these yeah I'm, i think i'm gonna go screen on that so it's kind of going through so pretty sweet so you can then create you know i don't know i just 
I put like a complete discography thing, but you know, you can pick what you want. I'm not going to go into that, but anyways, so that's how you can make some, uh, drawing with some gradient shapes, uh, doing some gradient, uh, fun backgrounds, get you going on, um, you know, kind of textures and things. It's not painting per se, but you can see some of the beautiful things that kind of happen in here when you layer these together. So I can't wait to see what you guys do. And uh, that's it for today's tutorial. We'll talk to you soon.